Welcome back to the UBB Uncle B Builds today. I'm gonna make some weeds out of this rope I found. And I'll also be painting the road. And probably some other little scenery. So stay tuned. I'm going to start by just painting the road. This is some leftover paint I had from something. I don't remember what I was using it for, but uh, try to keep things on the cheap. So that's what I'm going to do. Just a regular black road. You don't have to do anything uh, special. I'm going to do it. I'm going to say it's kind of like a, be like an older road, so there'll be a lot of like potholes and imperfections. And I'll just go right over the track because I'll kind of clean that off after it dries. So I'm not too worried about getting it off to the sides because I'm going to add some uh, dirt along there. on the side of the road. I kind of feel like Bob Ross. Maybe I'll hide a hide a tree in here somewhere. Just a happy tree. Now I'm just going to focus in on this little area for uh, some scenery first. So, so for the side of the road is I got this sand. I don't remember where I got it. But that's going to be for the side of the road. Just pour that like dirt right along the side of the road here. Some on this side too. get the brush and kind of get it to where you want it doesn't have to be perfect so that'll be that and then uh, I should have probably put some glue down first but that's all right so I got mother so I got some of this uh, turf here uh, burnt grass which is probably good for along the side of the road I also got some clump foliage and then, of course, this rope, which I'm going to make cut and make weeds with. So for that grass, I'm going to put, take my glue, put some down, and I'm just going to spread it out. 
with my paintbrush. I don't care if the rocks get in there or anything, that's fine, because, you know, there's going to be rocks out in the wild. Sprinkle some of this grass on here. So it's kind of like a base layer. Now to make my weed tufts, I'll just separate this stuff. And you can go as long or as short as you want. And then I'll cut some of it. See, and then you got this little tuft of weed from that rope. Let's add some glue and put that down wherever you feel it should go. Like I'll put it right by the side of the road there. I touched the road. I should have waited till that dries. That's fine. Then you can do all this style any way you want to do it. Now, if you want to spread it out more before you glue it, or maybe you want to, you know, so it's more tuft or, you know, together more or something, you can do it any way you want. Put as many weeds in as you want. Maybe you don't want them to be weeds. You, know, you can be whatever you want them to be. Then you can actually add some of the sprinkle of some of this grass on top so it looks like it has little leaves or other foliage on there or whatnot. I'm putting this right up against the track almost. It's somewhat overgrown. Another thing you can do is uh, you get a spray bottle with your glue water mixture and you can spray over it and kind of almost like a sealing it in. Maybe I'll uh, leave it more together and then separate it once the glue dries, kind of space it. And I'll leave it like that and then once that glue dries then kind of fluff it up a little. But you can do your railroad any way you want to do it. Fluff that up once uh, that glue dries. To the side of the road here, I can add some of this, some of the glue solution I used on the tracks.
I found a huge roll of this rope stuff, so I mean, I, I could probably cover everything. Now this glue should dry clear. At least I hope it does. Seems like it did everywhere else. You just keep adding these weeds or grass or whatever you want them to be. Wherever you want them. Then once you add maybe some down sticks or trees and stuff in there. See what happens when I do this. I think it needs more road weeds. More reeds weeds by the road. Maybe the ones by the road will be a little shorter. Come up through the rocks there and stuff. So, I mean, it'll be, uh, probably pretty boring to watch the whole, the whole process of doing the whole thing like this. But, uh, I'll get this on video so you know what I'm doing. Now let's see what happens if I sprinkle some more of that dried grass on there. And then you got your tufts of maybe bushes or something. You can add those in there too. Do that with a little, little glue, figure out where you want them, do it any way you want. Making a gluey mess, that's okay. And once you add sticks and trees in there, it should start looking pretty good. So that's kind of how I probably add maybe add some more uh, road. You can do like some debris or garbage. You know, people throwing crap out their windows. That's how I'm doing uh, tree tufts or bushes or whatever. And that's just this rope I found. And you could also, you know, paint this rope before you put it in there and have uh, 
you know, whatever color you want it. So uh, let's give that some time to dry for that little bit, and then uh, that's how I'm going to do my grass and weeds around the whole thing, and I'll add trees and I'll show you that. But this is come and look, you can see. That'll be how I do uh, grass and weeds, and I'll record more as I do more. So, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.